All right, guys, welcome back. Now, this is episode three. I just finished recording episode two not that long ago. I'm just so excited. I just figured something, not figured something out, looked something up that I had never known before because, honestly, a lot of the changes in the game have been made, and though I've played a little bit since then, I haven't really played a lot. Uh, and so there's a lot of just like little things that have been added and changed and like cool little things that I just don't know about. So I had to do a little research. How many of you have noticed these empty little triangles? This is how you get the silver medal of each place. You have to catch a fish a certain size to hit the silver medal. Now, thankfully, there is not one for the Wells catfish. Uh, there is not one for the carp nor the eyed, which is interesting. So that actually changes what I was about to do because I had just accepted an eyed quest thinking like, oh, we'll go do the eyed. So what I thought we'd do just for a short time here is work on one of these. Why don't we work on... Let me think about this. What do we want to work on? So the only one we've gotten is the Golden Crucian right so maybe we try to go get crucian i think we want to use dough uh what else might we want to use i found something in the um in the steam looks like maggot or dough can we make dough from here do we have what it takes to make dough? All right, that costs 30 silver. Let me see how this works. Let me see if I can remember how this works. Okay, so we have to have a dip as well. Do they sell the dips here? Yes. Oh, they're expensive. But this is the kind of stuff we're going to have to do if we're, um, garlic dough. Maybe we just use garlic dough. Dill, hemp, sunflower, mint, kipper. I don't really want to take a chance. I mean, this is so expensive. Let's try garlic dough dip. Crap. This means we're not going to be able to afford to get the, um, How cool is this though? Like these are some of these changes that have been made that I just think are so cool. All right, so we're crafting, we add water, we mix it, we add the dip, we mix it, boom. We have 20 pieces of dough. Now, that seems expensive, but maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. Um, all right, there was something else I was gonna look at. Let's see. Uh, can I tell where that is? Oh, that's just like right here. I kind of want to go down to that spot we were fishing at before. All right, so now let's see if we can set this up right. Um, okay, so we get this, we get our leader on, we want, for Crucian, I think we're going to want size one hooks, and we want our new dough. We only have 20 pieces of that. I think we can reuse everything, though, right? We get more out of it. Yeah, we just used a little bit of both. So we actually get a lot of those out of that, so that's all good. And then on this one, same thing. Leader and dough. Okay. Okay. So we can't afford to get a third one yet. So what we're trying to do is get 
And they're probably going to be best, honestly, like at night. So we'll see how this goes. We might um, bounce off this pretty quick. But I just, when I found this out, I just wanted to like share it. I just think it's so cool how this silver thing works. Uh, is this where we were before, or did we go all the way down to the last section? I think we were actually back there, but let's try, let's try down here as well. I think, I just feel like the Crucian can be pretty good down here. So let's just try this. Let's see, let's see what kind of Crucian sizes we're getting. Put that one there. And that one there. So we've basically got garlic dough out there. And then we could try to get gudgeon on the side. I guess with bloodworm. Uh, size zero hook. So what size does it need to be? It needs to be bigger than an 80 gram gudgeon. So we'll just try it. All right. Let's see if we're getting crucians. We'll see if our dough is paying off. So it used to be you could just go to the store and buy dough. Now they've added all these different types of dough you can make with all these different types of dips. So again, and, and, and you can make your own ground bait now. Like there's so much you can experiment with this in this game now. I need to check and see what size we're trying to catch. Because that's part of the fun is like, ooh, we just caught a common carp. Uh, kind of scary, but okay. All right, maybe this will be a, I don't know what happened over here. Probably a frog took it, no, I don't know. Something took it way over there to the side. All right, we don't want that rud to be, um, We don't want the rud to be eating our... Garlic dough, please. And if we don't start catching some crucian, I'm gonna move back to that starting area. I know in that starting area, if you just throw it straight out, you can catch some crucians. But I feel like down here, sometimes I catch even better crucians. Ooh, there's a nice tench. Looks like all kinds of fish are liking our new dough. I can't believe we spent all that money on dough. <laughs> I mean, it'll pay off in the long run, but holy cow. Yeah, that's not a crucian either. That's an eyed. Um, all right, I'm starting to rethink our spot here. What's the size we need? That's also part of the fun. We need to be 1.71 kilos. Oh yeah, the other thing I was gonna try was have maggots out on one. But again, I'm just not sure this is the right spot. We just got eight fish pieces. So obviously trying to silver, trying to silver this place is going to, it's going to have to be something we come back to. Like, I'm not saying we're going to stay here till we silver it. Now, I did want to stay here until we bronzed it. 
But we did that last episode. So, all right. So if we go just right here, really cast these guys out here a bit. And I'll try maggots on this one for a bit, just for a minute. Just get like a, one of them's got dough, one of them has maggot. And this one we're trying to find some gudgeon. All right, anything we want to take quest-wise? Seven minutes till that. We could get Crucian experience. Um, I don't know. I'm fine. All right, here we go. Now we're on some Crucians. Twenty six more silver. I just want to get our third feeder going. Getting close. We've got the rod and reel. Gudgeon? Gudgeon. Alright. Need a gudgeon. Need a big old gudgeon. There's a bait fish. Gudgeon? Frog. Take that as well. As we know, frogs are good baits for the catfish. All right, so we are getting close on our final feeder rod. We just need to get. Uh, what? A little bit more silver? Ooh, that one can be turned into a bait fish. Is it worth anything? It's worth 0.04 silver. So that most certainly will be turned into a bait fish. All right, so... I mean, we'll see how this goes, but I'm just wondering, maybe we hit the biggest Crucians doing this overnight. I don't know that that was quite big enough to, oh yeah, fish pieces, okay. I can't believe we're recording another episode already. I just got so excited when I realized what the silver reward was and what that involved, what in, yeah, what was involved with that. So I guess my question is, is there something, let's see what this is, see what size it is. Is there something that's more of a daytime thing that we could be going for? Like, should we be going for trying to get the biggest roach right now? 
Maybe even in the same spot, you know? Let's look at that real quick. Gudgeon? Gudgeon. Now remember. <laughs> Gudgeon, we're trying to get one that's 80 grams or bigger. All right, Roach. Styrofoam white ball. I love that someone caught one on a styrofoam white ball. And then bloodworm's the other thing. How big does it need to be? Bigger than 600 grams. How much are the styrofoam white balls? I just want to try it. It's going to be slow as molasses, right? $1.50? Heck yeah, I'll try it. Better believe I will try to catch me a big old roach on those. Are they going to catch carp too, though? Probably. We'll see. Speaking of roach. All right, so we're not getting big crucians right now. I just feel like we're not. I feel like it's a time of day thing. I think we want to do that at like 1800 into the evening. Here's a crucian, but it's just not big. Bloodworm? Do we think the roaches are going to be in this same area, though? Does it teach us anything about roaches on this list? Non-predatory, carp species, small, live bait, trash fish. Who are you calling trash fish? That's not very nice. Are we more likely to catch an 80 gram gudgeon on a zero hook or a one hook? I still think zero hook is the way to go. Bleak. I think one of these are just going to be big. We need some more um, blood worms. We use blood worms like crazy around here. Three kilo. What if we put a little leader on there? Do they sell a leader that would work? 2.8. See if that helps anything. Uh-oh. You know what that is. Could this be a roach? What is that? It's like a silver bream, I think. But I don't want to let go of this possible roach. I think that's a crucian. Might have been a little crucian, actually. 
Come on, take it one more time. It was a silver bream. All right, see if this is a roach. We could also use bark beetle. You know bark beetles are, tend to get big roaches too, no matter what game you're playing, right? Wait, is that a roach? Yes, okay, 302 grams. How far off are we? About halfway there, okay. What the heck was that? All right, we're going to add the leader. Ten silver. How much do we need for the line? Twenty five. It's a rud. Oh, income quest. Um, <sighs> Roach, I guess. 23 silver. If we actually get on some Roach here, it'll be worth it. We also know that pearl barley works good on roach. What did we put on here? Oh yeah, we did try the lar larva bark beetle. Okay, good. Ooh, here we go. Both of them catching fish at the same time. And our float is too. In fact. Silver bream are liking our... Um, Is this a roach? Nope. We're two for two on crucians on those iron balls. Um, do we think this just isn't a roach spot? I'll try that for a minute. That's not what I was going for. I forget how, I think the, I don't know why it's casting so light actually. Why is this casting so light? It shouldn't be, but it is. It's kind of weird. There we go. Back on the gudgeon. Oh, will we get gudgeon better at the surface? Or are we better at a meter depth like we've had it? I guess we'll see what happens. See if this is another gudgeon. It is and it's a little bigger. Come on, baby. I'm going to need you to grow up to be an 80 gram gudgeon, please. It's 
pretty nice when the gudgeon's too big to be turned into a piece of bait. That one's not. We have not caught a silver roach, a single roach, which is ridiculous. It's got to be the spot we're fishing in or something, right? All right, so where do we want to try for roach? Oh, can we fast travel down here? All right, come on. Be a roach. Coming to the surface, buddy. Ugh, it's a carp. I mean, it's a fish offal. Wait, can we fast travel? Oh, is that a benefit of premium? Additional fat fast travel spots? Cause that's pretty cool. Um, all right, I know we can gudgeon down here. Or at least I think we can. Can we roach down here? Where would we want to roach down here? That is so much farther than I meant to throw it. What is going on? Is it maybe almost too heavy? Maybe that's it. Alright, where are the gudgeon at? I'm just wondering if we should treat the, um, I need to put this down or I'm going to just jerk it too often. I wonder if we need to treat roach more like carp in terms of not being in the deepest point, but off on the sides a little bit, maybe. I don't know. All right, let's see if this is a gudgeon. I feel like gudgeon and stuff are down here, but. <gasps> that is so close. 73 gram. Doesn't it have to be 80? Oh my goodness. Gudgeon, gudgeon. I'm right about 80, correct? Prod by says, love this game. Good to see someone doing a series on it. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Maddox Mixon says, never played this game, but might give it a shot. That's awesome.
the bite's taking too long for both of those spots. It doesn't make sense, does it? I sort of just want to try like right over there, to be honest. So that's going to be a really short cast. There we go. Whoa. Hey, it's a roach. All right, let's put that right back in the same spot. What happened to our... What happened to our gudgeon bite, by the way? Oh, there we go. We're on to something here. Maybe. Is it a roach? I think it's a roach. Nah, I can't tell. Golden Crucian? Okay, we'll try there. It's not where I meant to throw it. Ooh. Fish jumping. Our gudgeon morning only. Oh, I spoke too soon. Getting small again, gudgeon. Why don't we try right here? Oh, please be a gudgeon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the gudgeon might not be out that far. As, I mean, we'll see. We might need to be in this little area here. I don't know. So anyway, you know, we're... Uh, we're going to be working on trying to silver this pond for a long time, but I figured we could get at least another short episode in and talk about how the silver reward works. Now that we've bronzed the pond, now we can slowly off and on start working on getting the silver, which is just very cool. I love that it's got this game's got that system in it. Uh oh. That does add a lot of depth to the game. Crucian. All right, let's get this. Oh, crap. Stop. Oh, that looks, that looks yummy. That looks yummy. Are any of the record gudgeon on like just regular worm or one's on maggot, but pretty much blood worm is the, seems to be the way to go. The nice thing is we're getting a lot of bait fish, right? Now, can we sell stuff on the auction house? Like bait fish sell for 25 silver a piece right now, it looks like. 
So at a low level, it seems like that would be a good way to make some early silver. But I might need somebody that's... Ooh! Fatty boy! Get away from my blood worms and my little zero hook. I might need somebody that's played this before, I mean, that knows about this to explain to me, because I feel like I've looked at this before, like, do I have to be a certain level to auction stuff? Maybe you do. Oh, is it a gudgeon? It's a good one if it's a gudgeon. Man. It is a roach, which does beg the question, if we just put this feeder, like, right here, would we catch better roach there? Might be worth trying. Let's just... Let's just try that for a minute. So I wonder if you do have to be, let me see, I'll look on my phone so I don't, uh, maybe I'll just look later. The easiest thing would be to look on Steam, I bet it says somewhere on Steam what level to auction house things. Let's see, the Fisher online, what level to use auction house. I don't want to watch a video because I'm, I'm, I'm recording. I just need somebody to have put it on their website. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see. It's, it's not going to be a quick answer. Whatever it is. Where is it? Oh crap, I missed it. How long has it been since we had anything on this? Bet it's going to be on a lot of these, trying to get these silver trophies, finding the right spot, the right bait, but also the right time. And then all of those factors together, increasing your chances of actually doing it. get a pretty quick bite sometimes I'm like eh let's just move it all right maybe 
that move was worthwhile. We'll see if we actually caught a roach. Nope. raining like are they a little deeper right now you know would that be a thing Come on, come on. Try maggots. So we've got maggots and bark beetle larvae on right now. Okay, bark beetle larva. It's not big enough, whatever it is. It's a rud. Our best gudgeon were definitely pre-noon. Like once it got to be noon, the gudgeon really slowed down. Come on, this is the maggots. Catch us a nice fatty roach, give us some hope. Crucian. Alright, let's change back to shallow. Let's throw it a little bit farther up in there. Uh oh. Come on, Gudgeon. Come on, Gudgeon. It's 
Should this be a hint that we're catching roach like up in here where it's shallow? Or is it just a small roach? <laughs> okay, our lines are messed up. So bark beetle is, shall is shorter, closer, and maggots is like way out there. Is that a roach? I can't even tell. Yeah, that was a roach. All right. I could be wrong, but I just kind of feel like if it doesn't get a bite pretty quick, like within 30 seconds or something, recast it on these floats. <gasps> We're getting so close to where we want to be on gudgeon. We're like seven grams off. All right, this has got a little more chunk to it. This is on maggots. We did throw it a country mile out there. Yeah, if that had been, if that had been a roach, We'd be set. Obviously. All right, come on. Yes, but no. Yes, but no. to get rid of these things are not going to be worth anything how do I delete it drop 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 <laughs> okay still no bite yep there's a bite Oh yeah, come on, come on, fat gudgeon. Oh, it's a loach, I like it. I'm dropping it, but I like it.
We're not going to wait too long on these bites on the float. Give it like 30 seconds. See if this is a roach. All right, we're one roach away from our income quest, which will help. That'll give us some silver. Is it roach time? How many crucians do we have? Five? Okay. Nothing to see here. Uh, let's try out here a little bit, I guess. We have been so close on gudgeon. We haven't really gotten close on roach yet. Like, I don't feel like either we're not in the right, you know, not in a good spot or something. Or not thinking right on time of day. I think we got the right baits. I mean, we might look out on those styrofoam balls, but it's hard to beat maggots and bark beetle larvae. All right, so there's the order. We're getting pretty full anyway. Man, I love fast traveling. Oh, it's so nice. All right, we're up back up to 70 silver. Okay, I think I wanna try Just briefly at this time of day, before we switch back to Crucian, I want to just try Roach right here. And on our third feeder rod, what are we still needing? Line and signal. Here we go. Boom. All right, see if it's the right species here. Uh, that looks roaches, right? Is it the right? Oh, it's an eyed. False alarm. Oh, please be a roach. Oh, there's no chance this is a roach, right? This is some like crazy crucian or something. Oh my goodness, it's an eyed. It's actually a decent eyed. And it's an ugly eyed. Are we out of maggots? I guess is what that means. Well, I can remedy that. Crap. 
How do I cancel it? Gudgeon? There are gudgeons here, but they're not the same gudgeons. <laughs> not all gudgeons are made alike, I think. Alright. So, are we good to go? Line. Signal. Oh yeah, we need a weight and uh, that's it. We need a weight. And we're also probably going to need some more ground bait. I think we're almost out of our ground bait. All right. Um, one of these. Oh, it just popped back up. All right, here we go. Size one hook. We'll try the uh, styrofoam for now. Oh, we're definitely going to need some more of these. Wait, why isn't it working? Because of that. Alright, we're going to transition to Crucian here shortly. Because I feel like we're coming up on Crucian time. And I just want to see if we can hit one of those juicy Crucians down here. Um, so we need uh, some of this. We probably ought to experiment with making our own, uh, but we're not going to do that this episode. We're not going to go too much longer either. All right. So we've got all three feeder rods set up. Heck of a star here um, in terms of getting everything going. It's still 17, 14. I feel like it's still early enough we could... Um, Try roach a little bit longer. All right, it was an eyed last time. Let's see if we found a roach this time. Ooh, quick bite there on the bark beetle larva. I like this. Got our feeders out now. It's a crucian. We're not even catching the right species right here, are we? Which just doesn't make sense to me. Again, it's got to be like our approach or something is just off for roach. Roach, it's like hard to miss, right? Are we just casting way too far out? All, a lot of our roach, you know, we caught, well, we did catch them down there at the end. Some of them were in the deeper area, some of them were shallow, but yeah, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure about our roach approach right now. All right, so we're going to go doe, maggot, doe, and hope that the big crucians start showing up. I don't know, I guess we could play around with, um, that might be a roach. Okay, so you're saying there's a chance. All right, th let's see what this is. It's all right over here near the shore, bark beetle larva. It's a rud. The biggest thing that's keeping us from catching roach is rud. <laughs> that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. Anything we can cut up here? Get those fish pieces going. It's almost 1800. 1800 is when I want to pretty much want to switch to Crucian. See if we can't hit a big boy Crucian. but we don't have long.
I have quite enjoyed having the float out. I'm going to miss it. Uh, you know, like, I don't know. So look at this. This is something else that I've never looked at a whole lot, but we now can have mastery on our rods. So because of how much we've used this thing, we've mastered it to tier three, I guess. We've got plus one to fish control and plus one to accuracy. So that's pretty cool. How are we doing on these? Fish control two. Is it gonna be the same on every one? I'm assuming it is. All right, come on, be a fatty roach. Or a perch. All right, it's 1800, let's go. Let's go. Do you ever, do you ever successfully catch a crucian on size two hooks? I think it'd just probably be so slow. All right, let's get these out of the water. All right, so we've got dough. We'll put dough on two and three, and then we'll leave. Um, maggots on one, I guess. We'll see how this goes, and this th then we'll know for next time. Because again. I feel pretty good about trying to get some bigger crucians down here. Although, you know, when we were down there recently, we saw more golden crucians than anything else. So, but we'll see. Do we need a certain size in rud here? Because that's what I feel about. I feel like this spot is rud and eyed. Uh-oh. What we got? What do we got on maggots? All right, it's coming in. It's coming in. Yeah, dough's going off though. Our bite rate since we put dough in the water seems like it's going to be a little quicker. Oh, this accretion needs to be 1.7. We're not far off. We're not far off on that one. Make sure that maggots gets right back into the same spot. No comment. Income. Oh, the gudgeon would be so easy at certain times of day, at least. Experience for crucian. I don't really, I, I'd rather sell them right now, I think. Because we're already thinking about, first of all, we want to start doing some, um, it's not 32 silver, we're back up to 54. We want to do some experimenting with ground bait. We need to be able to afford baits and everything, but we've pretty much got our like starter feeder rods. We're good to go now for a while, but it's never too early to start saving for our starter carp rods at Germany, right? It's another roach, isn't it? So corn fused right now. Maggots and dough fish on. Let's try to get this one in as quick as possible. We are on the roach right now. 
we probably did not keep our roach setups in there long enough because apparently the roach are biting right now whatever this is it's pretty small can't even tell what it is roach slimy little roach Okay, a little better. And it's a tench. Leveled up to eight. You know what that means. We now have the pond, Germany, and Russia that we can travel to, plus Thousand Islands and Siberia NSA five maps that we have access to already that's five places that have daily quests now with our current gear some of those places according to which daily quest pops could be a little more suspect but still it's pretty exciting do they sell guild token or however you start a guild don't you have to do that through here Pfft, not through here through here uh accessories oh how much is this so 1250 1250 silver to get the nice rod pod okay um okay maybe they don't sell it here maybe in germany maybe i'm not remembering how you do it how you start a club Oh, I should have gotten the middle rod first because it's so much closer. You can get it in a lot quicker. Hey, this is a pretty nice bite rate right here, by the way. I actually feel like we're doing pretty good. Although this is the time of day that I was thinking like, okay, this is when we want to try to hit crucians. The question is, is it here or is it down at that other spot that we were going to have better luck at? Oh, that is a sweet, sweet silver bream. All right, we need to check rud and silver bream. To see what we need to what size we're trying to hit on those look at this bite rate right now it's awesome this is killer i think we're only going to go to about 20 so about 30 more in-game minutes and then I'm going to peace out for episode three. Ooh, it's a ruddy rud. This, this does just kind of feel like an all-around spot, doesn't it? All right, we need to look up rud and silver bream. All right, there's 20 more silver. We're up to 74. We're just rolling right along. Um, all right. Silver bream, we need just over a kilo. So dough, pearl barley, and rud. Is rud even on the list? Yes, we need just over 800 grams. Bloodworm, larva, bark beetle. So some of these you can really go for more than one at the same time. Like this dough we're using seems to be hitting several species. We just got to get some nice lucky fish coming in. Maggots is also hitting several. I think these are some good baits we're using for this purpose. That's a, ro a roach again, I believe. It's hard for me to identify roach in this game for some reason. They just kind of look like silver slimy things once they get close. I love the way that silver bream looked though. It's, it's very cool. Part of me would just be like content doing this over and over, trying to hit these silvers. Um, although, I do want to get out and start going to different maps. So, I think next episode we might dip our toe into Germany, start working on bronzing that. I still want to travel to DLC. Maybe we'll do that real quick here at the end, as soon as it hits 20, which we are very close to hitting 20 now.
Oh, this is what we're looking for. Just a little bigger than that, though. One of these times, we're going to hit a lucky crucian. One of these times. So it's got to be a large crucian, and it has to be a large crucian at, what was it, like 1.8? 1 1.7. 1 Yeah, I think this dough was totally worth it. Look at this. We're catching silver bream on it, too. All right. That's time, isn't it? That is time. I don't want to spend any silver because there. it's possible that while we're at these DLC maps, we might see a bait of some sort that we want to grab one of. Um, oh, we're getting fish on both. This is great. Gives us a little more silver to spend. So the only reason why I'm going to go to the DLC maps really quick is because they, we can travel there for free and I can just show you examples of what the daily quest would be there. Um, now, by tomorrow, the daily quest could be different. but All right, so we are hitting Crucians here. Again, I don't think this was a bad attempt. I think, you know, it's just a matter of hitting the fish. Uh, maybe the more mastery we get on these rods, that will help. Um Maybe getting dialed in on a different type of dough. We could certainly try that. That's a perch. Okay, we're up to 90 silver. So, let's look at the DLC maps. And I'll just go ahead and say, if you have this game and you're trying it out, you're seeing if you like it, once you to get to a point if you do like it, totally worth getting the DLC maps. They're not that expensive. I think they do go on sale sometimes. Um, there's no rush to get them necessarily, but they're both very fun maps that um, from a low level, you can go there and do some cool things. So first let's check out Thousand Islands. This is a USA map. So today it's bluegill. So that would actually be a good one for us to try to do um, is the daily. So that's really cool. Let's see, bluegill, fish on the lake, uh, shiner live bait. And they're small, so we just use zero hooks or smallest hooks we can with shiner live bait. Try to hit them. That's not bad at all. And now let's go over to the store real quick and see what do they sell here. So shiner live baits, here's the downside. They cost 60 silver. So obviously we're not getting them without knowing if that, I mean, now if that was going to be the, thing yeah i might try it i might spend 60 silver but not knowing all right bee maggots yeah those are too expensive for us as well we already have larva and then mealworms so whatever um there are some cool baits here because you got some bass baits but nothing that we need to worry about right now live bait floats very cool they do sell food and medicine i can't remember Slake, slakes thirst 200 hunger 100 thirst minus 200 so it makes you thirsty but it satisfies hunger i'm not sure if all of that stuff has been added um by the way here's another cool feature of this game there's tournaments all the time in on different maps so in just six minutes it looks like a yellow perch max weight tournament's going to start very cool way to get additional um like tournament tokens and stuff all right, next we'll go to the other one. My favorite of the two DLC maps. Though Thousand Islands adds a, a lot of variety to the game. This one is a smaller map, but it, I just love it. I love the way it looks. I really like bream and whitefish fishing here. I think as this series moves forward, we, at some point we'll spend a good bit of time here. I'm not sure if our current setups would be ideal for going for bream here. It might be okay. Um... But this is what it looks like. You just get on the boat, and I like to go to that island there, fish off that island. Uh, of course, there's a lot of predator fish in this water, too, if you like spin fishing, which we'll get into eventually, but we're nowhere near having the type of setup that we would need for, for that. This shop doesn't have much either. Maggots, bark beetle, lot. so fly only costs three silver. We can get a few flies. That could be good. Uh, same with mayfly. 6.8 silver. Now, mayfly larva, though I love mayfly larva, a little pricey for where we are now. Yeah, nope, not for us. All 
different food. Fly fishing stuff. All right. Oh, let's see what the daily quest would have been here. Siberian Dace. So that's doable. Uh, that's doable for our level. So Siberian Dace, uh, larva maggots, and larva bark beetles. Probably what we would have tried. Because, again, the mayfly larva is expensive. And, um, yeah, go try to do that. So if I had more time, like right now, we would totally do that. I mean, those are both really cool. So we'll go back. Actually, actually, I think... Not knowing what we're going to do, we'll stay here. We'll stay here. Let's log out here. Hey, thanks so much. Thanks for putting up with all my excitement for <laughs> our new leveling series. I am going to try to, I mean, there's going to be a certain amount of excitement for me. But once we get rolling and sort of into it, I really want to alternate between this and the RF4 leveling guide. So we'll try to do that moving forward. Again, at some point, the RF4 leveling guide will end probably be way before this one. However, then we'll just start alternating with like regular RF4 videos, looking at hotspots and stuff. Okay, tight lines, everybody. I'll see you next time. Peace out.